Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Manny B Investing. Got a tweet here from Shitobi Shibtoshi Nakamoto, the creator of Dogecoin. The reason why people think crypto is 95% scams and garbage, and most crypto people are assholes, is because crypto is 95% scams and garbage, and most people are assholes. Let's change that. It starts with you, what you support, and how you behave. And with that being said, let's take a look at the Luna Foundation Guard. Let's tweet earlier, earlier, super early, as far as early this morning, maybe even late last night, 4 a.m., they tweeted a thread. This is the Luna Foundation. It is, uh, uh, I guess, I'm not going to try to compare Luna to Cardano, but if you were going to, it's sort of like the Cardano Foundation. They are responsible uh, for the open source software. They're responsible for the decentralized economy of it, its sovereignty, security, the whole nine. They are the end all be all to the chain. So let's take a look at what they tweeted. As of Saturday, May 7th, 2022, the Luna Foundation Guard held a reserve consisting of the following assets. 80,394 Bitcoin. Good gosh. It's like, do we need to break the calculator out to, to see what that, what that is? What's the price? What's the current price of Bitcoin? About $30,000. Let's, uh, let's take a look. Let's figure that one out. Let's see. I got, uh, get my coin gecko out. Let's see what Bitcoin is. It is 30,057. So do uh, 30,057 times 80,390. Oops. 80,394. Oh, I messed something up. Let's try that again. 30,057 times 80,394. 2.4 billion dollars. They held in Bitcoin. 39,914 BNB. 26 million 281,671 USDT. 23,555,590 5, USDC. Almost 2 million AVAX. A little over half a million UST and 1.6 million Luna is what they held May 7th. Consistent with its non-profit mission, I don't believe that, and focus on the health of the Terra ecosystem, they failed. Beginning on May 8th, when the price of UST began to drop substantially below $1, the foundation began converting this reserve to UST. So they sold everything for a plummeting stable coin that didn't work. And mind you, they probably sold that Bitcoin at a loss because we're in a down market. They probably sold a majority of this stuff at a loss because we're in a down market. Let's talk about a double whammy. The foundation did so by directly executing on-chain swaps and transferring BTC to a counterparty to enable them to enter trades with the foundation in large size and on short notice. That is an interesting one right there. Let's, uh, I don't think we can. This is the one. I don't like this one. I wonder if anybody's like saying anything about that. I don't like it at all. Three. That they did this. They did everything else on chain, but then this stuff, oh, we're going to transfer it to um, a counterparty, and then they're going to. They're going to sell it really fast for us. That's what they're going to do. It's like, yeah, okay. Sure, that's what you're going to do. That's what they're going to do. Let's see what
what people are saying to this one. Perhaps you could explain this a little better. If I enter a trade with party A outside the market for some pre-agreed amount of BTC for UST, how will that move the price in the market? Market price moves when orders are filled, removed from order books on exchanges. The whole crypto world must come together and uncover the truth and help the Luna project? Should it have suffered a foray? <laughs> if he doesn't do this, it won't be a real revolution. Crypto can't miss this opportunity. You're delusional, sir. Yeah, the wallet on Binance. Who, who was it? I got really hopeless now. Why you didn't just open a short position on Luna with all that those BTC? You should disclose the name of the third party. I like that. Counterparty? Yeah. Enter trades with the foundation in large size. Does not make much sense to me. Would you also like to disclose the counterparty? The using this trade word to deceive people on what happened. They all lying and hiding the truth about how they ripped off everyone. This is lame. Vote no, you cannot car something classic when people has lost all their life savings and committed suicide. The same old thing. If, if, if I lose money, then all these people are committing suicide. We've seen this so many times, man. And people saying, oh, random person can't, can't confirm that he, he's gone. Just saying that he did. It's kind of getting old, people. Just stop. All right. Four. Directly sold the USDT and the USDC for an aggregate 50. Why would you do that? Transferred 52,189 BTC to trade with counterparty net of in excess of 5,313 5, BTC that they have returned for an aggregate 1.5 billion UST. So they're trading Bitcoin for a worthless token that was worth nothing. Hmm. 5A on May 10th, when USD had fallen to 75 cents pursuant to a master service agreement dated January 10th, 2022, through which TFL managed and executed all finance administrative and operational functions and support as requested. TFL on behalf of the foundation executed the following exchange trades in a last ditch effort to defend the peg. So you burn through all, this is what they're saying. They burn through all of their capital, trying to save a stable coin that wasn't stable. Sold 33,206 Bitcoin for an aggregate 1.1 a billion, yep, 1.1 billion UST. Again, more worthless trading worth, worth for worthless. That's what they're doing. That's what they're saying they're doing. And they had to do this through a third party for some reason. Not sure why. On May 12th, LFG swapped over 800 million UST to over 200 million Luna and staked this across a range of validators to protect against a possible governance attack as the amount of Luna continued to increase. All transactions described above have now been completed. That's weird. You bought, bought a bunch of worthless native tokens, Luna token in the worthless stable coin with legitimate assets such as Bitcoin to keep it from doing what it's supposed to do. Luna's a governance token. So if you didn't you didn't want the governance token to be massively increased, why is it why is its max supply infinite? Isn't that kind of what infinite means? Infinite minting? That's what happened. The governance token was minted infinitely. You design the system to work this way. I don't understand why the panic shock in the liquidation of all of your legitimate assets 
to stop something that you designed to happen. Eight. As of now, the foundation remains re remaining reserves consists of the following. Here's where it gets really sad. 313 Bitcoin. And, it, and granted, most people would love to have one, but they went from almost 100,000 Bitcoin to 313. They have 39,000 BNB left. They have all of their AVAX, apparently. And then their worthless UST. And then their worthless Luna. All assets will be returned to wallets tagged in dashboard lfg.org short, shortly. The Luna previously staked is unbonding and will return in 20 days. The foundation is looking to use its remaining assets to compensate remaining users of UST, smallest holders first. Couldn't you have done that if you didn't dump the Bitcoin that you had? We are still debating through various distribution methods, updates to follow soon. This is crazy. This is, this is just absolutely insane. This is just crazy. I don't know who the, who is this? My oh, he's talking about watches. Okay. I had 10 K left UST. That was all my life savings. I bought back Luna at 31 to save Luna because I like the project. Am I F? Um, yes, because mostly because you're an idiot. First off, why would you have $10,000 in the UST of all the stable coins? You picked UST to put 10 grand in. Also, why are you spending your life savings on crypto? That's also really stupid. And then you, after everything happened and all this stuff is crashing, you continued to buy Luna to save it. And all you had in your life savings was $10,000, which you spent on a worthless stable coin that wasn't stable. All right. Sure. You got some memes here. Yep. This is pretty much how Luna's blockchain is designed. Yep, and that's what happened. That's literally what happened to the blockchain. They're tied together. They don't work. Your governance token has, is, has an unlimited or infinite max supply, and your stable coin isn't stable, and people were buying this stuff. I have no idea why they were buying it. I mean, FOMO, uh, VCs, selling, uh, having influencers sell you on it, on TikTok, got a bunch of young people to buy in on it because they made videos like the one that we showed in the video that I released earlier today with the guy talking about how you can buy a million dollar house with Luna and you'll just get, you'll just make free money because that's how the economy works. You just, everybody just gets free money. And these people bought this stuff. Dump Luna first near to zero. Buy Luna at low price. Burn 70% of the Luna you bought. Luna price will pump hard. New money come to Luna. Why would new money come to Luna? Do you have another supply of stupid people? Because this doesn't make any sense. Sell slowly your 30% remaining Luna at high price. There's no high price. It's, it's dead. It's over. Now you have money to buy back UST. They already spent a billion dollars on UST and it didn't work. Why would you spend more money on it? It's over, Crypto MF. It's over. Just stop it. It's over. Just enough money to rise from the ashes and rebuild Luna V2. There are many in the community hating on StableQuan and LFG.org, but we need to support these guys for a comeback. They are our best chance. You are an idiot, whoever you are. That's enough money to buy the excess amount of Luna coins and burn them so you can at least help some of the people that bought coins at zero to DCA their holdings. Why would they do that? No fork, no airdrop, no V2, no Luna 2, none of that ish. I like that part of it. You lost, dude. It's over. It's not going to happen. So what you want to do is you want to prop up a worthless blockchain 
trick people into putting money into it so that you can use them as exit liquidity. This is the suggestion that the community is talking about. Yep, that's what you look like buying a dip on a crashing blockchain that was worthless to begin with. Only a fool will be believe you have 313 BTC left. I'm convinced this was a proper scam operation to hoard BTC and exit nice work. If you got wrecked, this may help. If you're getting wrecked right now in UST, Luna, or anywhere else, pause and read. Oh, gosh. What is this? No. Luna Foundation sold more than 80,000 BTC to buy UST. Yeah, that was probably one of the dumbest things that's happened in a very long time in this country or in this on this planet actually uh what is the case what is the use case for luna hey i wish i could answer that i wish somebody could answer it for me why would anyone be interested in an oh logarithmic stable coin i never got this concept can anyone please explain this hype in luna was never seen before don't let the don't let the luna die if we bounce back believe Terra will overtake ethereum delusional one thing is for certain if you guys aren't able to fix luna no one will ever invest or work on any project in your ecosystem the brand will be permanently blackballed by hated at hated by the crypto community too late don't forget luna investors please we invested in this project you gambled on a project you didn't invest how about terra luna and usd recovery plan what do you plan? So people are asking about a recovery plan. They're offering their own suggestions. And all of these suggestions that I've seen so far are filled with uh, delusion or they're planning on selling this crap to a new group of buyers and using them as exit liquidity and then leaving them holding their zero bags. So you want to talk about a community? There's your community and another reason why. It's very important to do your own research. It's very important to use that to, to base your research on reality and not hopium and not influencers because this is what you end up with when you do that. Very interesting tweet from LFG. Uh, I know that they have some recovery plan stuff uh, posted. I do want to take a look at that. Uh, so look out for more Luna UST content me going through tweets, looking at the sentiment, checking out the community, and seeing where this disaster is headed next. Make sure you hit that like, hit the share, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.